welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to my channel welcome to med coding soil hi i am shaba a certified medical coder in this video we will cover a very important topic the repair of the integrity system we will go through some key terms related to repair how to code different types of repair and the role of modifier so let's get started to make this concept easy to understand Use the codes in the repair section to designate wound closure utilizing suture, staples, or tissue adhesives, either singly or in combination with each other or with adhesive strips. There are three types of repair, single, intermediate, and complex. When coding for repair, it is essential to note the key terms associated with each type. AC terms will help you to determine the appropriate coding scenario. For simple repair terms such as one layer closure, simple suturing or superficial repair indicate that the repair falls into the simple category and you should be coded accordingly. In the case of intermediate repair, terms like layered closure, two layered repair, mattress suture, in layers, Single layer closure required extensive cleaning or single layer closure required routine cleaning represent intermediate repair. For complex repair terms as scar revision, removal of foreign body, prolonged cleaning, heavily irrigating, extensive undermining, stunts or retention switchers and three layer repair indicate that the complex repair coded should be used. By familiarizing yourself with these key terms, you can easily determine the appropriate repair category for coding. While practicing coding related to repair, you must highlight the keywords given on the CPT page number 94 associated with each type of the repair. For example, in the simple repair, highlight terms such as superficial wound, simple one layer closure. For intermediate repair, focus on phrase like layer closure, deep layers, limited undermining, and single layer closure requiring extensive cleaning or removal of particulate matter. In case of complex repair, emphasize terms such as exposure of bone, extensive undermining, and placement of retention suture. These keywords will greatly assist you in selecting the correct type of repair. You must highlight the instruction given at page number 95 for listing services at the time of wood repair. This includes how wounds are measured and recorded, how to code repairs for location within the same classification, how to code different types of repair performed during the same session, and when to append modifier 59. There are specific coding guidelines to follow when dealing with repair. When multiple wounds are repaired, you should add together the lengths of those wounds that fall within the same classification. However, do not combine the length of repair from different classification nor should you add together the lengths from different types of repair. When more than one classification of wound is repaired, list the more complicated procedure as the primary procedure and the less complicated one as the secondary procedure using modifier 59. Let's understand each guideline with practice questions to clarify the concepts. The physician repaired two wounds one on the left arm measuring 12 cm and one on the left leg measuring 15 cm. Both wounds on the leg and arm required a layer closure. Select the repair codes to report. Option A with the service code 12034 and 12035. Option B with the service code 12035. Option C with the service code 12036. Option D with the service code 13121 and 13,122 into 4. 
Our first step is to identify the procedure performed. In this case, repair were done for two wounds on the leg and arm, both of which required a layered closure. A layered closure referred to an intermediate repair, indicating that the same type of the repair is performed on the both wound. Based on the type of the repair performed, we will first eliminate the option D, which shows a complex repair. After eliminating option D, our next step for coding is to determine the location where the repair was performed. We need to assess whether we can sum the areas if both fall under the same code description or we must code them separately if they fall under different classification. Since both the leg and the arm repair belong to the same classification, we will sum the areas before coding. Based on this rule, we will eliminate option A which shows two different codes for intermediate repair. After eliminating option A and D, both remaining options are for intermediate repair showing different areas. To choose the correct code, we need to find the total area of both repaired region. The wound on the leg is of 15 cm and on arm is of 12 cm, giving us total area of 27 cm. For the repair of this area, we should choose the option C with the code 12036, which is used for the repair of wound of scalp, axillary, trunk or extremities ranging area from 20.1 cm to 30 cm. Tina fell from a step ladder while clearing drains gutter at her home, suffering contusions and multiple laceration. At the emergency room, she received suture for laceration to her chest, hand, and foot. The doctor performed the following repairs. A single layer closure of 7.9 cm did require extensive cleaning and removal of glass from the hand. A one layer closure of 9.6 cm to the foot. A 2.0 cm laceration on her chest required extensive undermining to pull wound edges together and retention sutures were used to keep it close. How would you report the wound repair? Option A with the service code 12044 and 12006. Option B with the service code 12004, 12044 along with modifier 59 and 13101 along with modifier 59. Option C with the service code 13100, 12044 along with modifier 51, 12004 along with modifier 51. Option D with the service code 13100, 12044 along with modifier 59 and 12004 along with modifier 59. Our first step is to identify the procedures performed. In this case, three repairs were done. A single layer closure of 7.9 cm on the hand which required extensive cleaning and removal of glass indicate an intermediate repair. A one layer closure of 9.6 cm on the foot represent a simpler repair. A repair of a 2.0 cm laceration on the chest that required extensive undermining and retention suture represent a complex repair. Since all three repairs fall into different categories, we must follow the guideline to code them separately. More complicated repair as the primary procedure and less complicated repair as a secondary procedure applying modifier 59. Based on this, we can eliminate option A which shows only two types of repair. Option B which lists the Less complicated repair as the primary code and option C which uses modify 51. Therefore, option D is the correct choice as it shows the most complicated repair as the primary procedure and applying modify 59 with the subsequent repairs.
patient presents to the emergency department with multiple laceration from a knife fight at the local bar. After examination, it was determined these lacerations could be closed using local anesthesia. The areas were prepped and draped in usual steroid fashion. The surgeon documented the following closures. 7.6 cm superficial repair of the right forearm, 5.7 cm two-layered closure of the upper right arm, 4.7 cm three-layered repair of the right neck, a single layered closure of 10.3 cm dead required routine cleaning of the upper chest. What CPT codes are reported? Option A with the service code 13132, 12035 along with modifier 59, 12004 along with modifier 59. Option B with the service code 13132, 12,034 along with modifier 59, 12,032 along with modifier 59, 12,004 along with modifier 59. Option C with the service code 13,132, 12,036 along with modifier 59. Option D with the service code 13,152, 12,035 along with modifier 59 and 12,004 along with modifier 59. 59. Our first step is to identify the procedure. In this case, four sides were repaired. 7.6 cm for a superficial repair of the right forearm, which we code as a simple repair. 5.7 cm for a two layered closure, indicating an intermediate repair of the upper right arm. 4.7 cm for a three layered repair categorized as a complex repair of the right neck. A single layered closure of 10.3 cm dead required routine cleaning, also coded as an intermediate repair of the upper chest. It means one simple, two intermediate, and one complex repair was performed. For three different types of repair, we must follow the guideline to code them separately. More complicated repair should be coded as the primary procedure, while the less complicated one are coded as secondary procedure, applying modifier 59 to the subsequent repairs, as indicated in all option. First, we will eliminate the option C representing only two types of repair. After eliminating option C, we further narrow down our choices based on the location and size of the repair performed. Based on the location, we will also eliminate option D because the complex repair code 13152 in date option includes organs other than the neck, whereas the complex repair was specifically done on the neck. For the remaining two options, one indicating one intermediate repair and the other indicating two intermediate repairs, we must follow one guideline. If the two areas of the wound belong to the same classification, we will sum the areas of both wound. Otherwise, we will list them separately. Since intermediate repairs were performed on the wound of the right arm and chest, both of which fall under the same code descriptor 12035, we will sum the areas of both wound Based on this guideline, we will also eliminate the option B. Therefore, a correct option is option A. Procedure diagnosis, vessel cell carcinoma right chin. Procedure, white local excision of 3.0 cm with 0.3 margin vessel cell carcinoma of right chin with a 4 cm closure. Procedure. The patient right chin was examined. The site of intended excision was marked out. The patient was prepped and draped in usual fashion. A 15 blade scalpel was then used to make an incision in the previously marked site. It was carried down to the subcuticle fit. The lesion was then sharply dissected off underlying tissue bed using 15 blade scalpel. It was tagged for pathologic orientation. 
The hyphter was used for hemostasis. The wound was then closed by advancing the tissue surrounding the lesion and closing in layers with Vectrile for deep layer followed by proline for the skin. The skin closure was in a running subcutical fashion. Steri strips were then applied. What are the procedure and diagnostic code? Option A with the service code 11644, 12052 along with modifier 51, C44.319. Option B with the service code 11643, 12013 along with modifier 51, C44.319. Option C with the service code 11444, 12052 along with modifier 51, D49.2. Option D with the service code 11443, 12013 along with modifier 51 and D49.2. Our first step is to identify the procedure. In this case, there was an excision followed by repair. The wound was then closed in layers indicating that intermediate layer closure was performed. Reviewing the guidelines regarding excision followed by intermediate layer closure, we see that the excision repaired by intermediate closure should be reported separately. When coding excision with repair, always append modifier 51 to the repair code, as mentioned in all options. Based on the type of the repair performed, we can eliminate option B and D, both showing simple repair. After eliminating option B and D, our next step is to determine the type of the lesion on which the excision was performed. Since the procedure was performed on a basal cell carcinoma, which is a malignant lesion indicated by the suffix OMA, we will eliminate option C, which pertains to a benign lesion. So our correct option is option A. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or need for the clarification, please feel free to write in the comment section. For more detailed guidelines, CPC mock exam related questions and notes, email me at the giving email ID.